This video is sponsored by Surfshark. Well boys, it wouldn't be a Spookston Q&A video if I wasn't at least a month late, would it? We are pretty well past 300,000 subscribers at this point, but I think I'm not too late, all things considered. Once again, I would like to say that I appreciate you guys immensely. I obviously wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. The fact that I do this as my job now is still something that I can't really fully comprehend, but it's still really, really cool. I've pretty much tripled the original goal I had of 100,000 subscribers, the goal I set like seven years ago. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into the questions. So this first bit is sort of a question and an announcement. How are your health issues doing? Last most of us heard you were having to go in for surgery. Are you doing okay? Okay, so I feel like there's been some slight miscommunication here. The gist of it is that my immune system is beating the shit out of my kidneys. And there's nothing that can really be done about it. I mean, you can try like steroids or other things that try to calm the immune system down a bit, but nothing's worked so far. And I'm at the point where it's end-stage renal disease. Basically, I need a kidney transplant. I don't need one right now, it's at different stages. I'm at the stage where I will probably need dialysis pretty soon. I think once your kidney function goes to like 15%, that's when you need dialysis. So when I say that I'm trying to make a transplant video stockpile, that's what I mean. Because you're only in the hospital for like a week when you get the transplant, but recovery can be pretty rough. So I'm trying to build up enough videos that I can just relax for a month. So basically like 12 to 14 videos. Which is just a ton of work to do when you're already making 3 videos per week. And that's why it's been so difficult to make historical videos. So hopefully that clears things up. Okay, now hopefully on to more lighthearted questions. What's a popular tank that you hate personally? It can be for a really dumb reason just a popular tank you hate. The Leopard 2. Now, to be clear, I don't think the Leopard 2 is a bad tank at all. In fact, it's pretty much equal to my favorite main battle tank, the M1 Abrams. I just hate the Leopard 2 because I feel like it is massively, massively overhyped. It's one of those things where you hate the fans more than the actual object itself. I think at the end of the day, M1 and Leopard 2 fans need to get together because it's like... Yeah, they're not exactly the same, but when you compare them side to side, like what they do performance-wise, it's not that different. In terms of sheer protection, the Leopard 2 is probably a bit better, but for survivability, I think the M1 still wins out. While we're talking about protection, it might be a good idea to talk about our sponsor, Surfshark. Information can be a powerful thing, and there are plenty of bad actors that want to steal your information. Surfshark is a VPN service that keeps your identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and internet. Using a VPN also allows you to change your device's IP location, letting you bypass things like region locks or censorship. Like if you wanted to watch a music video that was restricted in your country, you could use Surfshark to make it look like you were connecting from a different one, allowing you to watch the video freely. You can also use it for video streaming services. Companies like Netflix will limit what movies you can watch based on your location. Using Surfshark, you can access Netflix's entire library. And on game launch days, you can get access early by switching to a time zone where the game's already been released. Surfshark doesn't just offer VPN services though. Surfshark has a feature called Clean Web that can block ads, stop malware, and alert you to phishing attempts. They also offer a comprehensive antivirus program, as well as a private search engine. If any of this sounds like it could be useful to you, use my code on checkout. That'll get you up to 6 additional months. Now let's get back to it. How tall are you? Would you fit inside of an L3? I'm about 5'8", so I'd say probably. I don't know what the uh, max height for an L3 is. It might be a snug fit, because I imagine that the average Italian in the 1940s wasn't 5'8". But yeah, I could probably fit, I imagine. The Chieftain can fit into an M22 Locust, and he's like 6'5". Get a cat. No. As funny as I think cats can be and how often I use them in videos for a laugh, I don't really like cats all that much as pets. You know, if a dog rolls over at your feet and you pet it, it's not going to start eviscerating your hand. A cat will, a lot of the time. Not to mention, right, people will let them up on counters and stuff after they use the litter box, which is vile. That is absolutely disgusting. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is blue. I think. I don't know, I'm pretty indifferent towards the color spectrum these days. They're all pretty cool when you think about it, except for like, lime green, I guess. That doesn't look great. 
How many Command & Conquer games have you played, and of them, what is your favorite? I actually haven't played that many Command & Conquer games. I've played Generals and Command & Conquer 3, and that's it. Of the two, Generals is definitely my favorite. It's what I grew up playing. I have immense bias towards it. I mean, I think Command & Conquer 3 was cool. I just prefer Generals more. What is your favorite fruit? Banana, by far. Easily the best fruit, like, no competition. All you gotta do is open it up. It's easy. You don't have to, like, munch on the skin or try and, like, dissect it like an orange. Also, I think it just tastes the best out of all of them. I mean, apples are pretty good too, but definitely not as good as a banana. If you could only pick two weapons, a main weapon and a sidearm from Halo, what would they be? Well, that's easy. DMR and Magnum. Both from Halo Reach if you want. I'm of the opinion that the DMR is probably the coolest UNSC gun. Runner-up would be the MA5C from Halo CE, because 60 round magazine would obviously be pretty fun to use. I remember I saw a magazine where someone made a quad stack magazine, and you could actually fit 60 rounds. Like, people make fun of it for that, but it's technically possible. Would it be reliable? Probably not, but it works. What don't you want to see in War Thunder? Well, that's pretty easy. Historical matchmaking. I really don't understand the mindset of people that ask for this, unironically. Like, dying to a tank that is newer than yours, and your first thought is, I don't want to fight modern tanks, and not just, that tank in particular might be broken. Because if we had historical matchmaking right, stuff like the ASU-57 would be 7.0. I am of the firm belief that tanks should be balanced on their individual performance, not their introduction date or their player stats or anything like that. Any plans for more videos on history and development of vehicles? Like I said earlier, I do want to make them, it's just that they're more difficult to make now. Like, they require so much more effort to make than worth under videos. And not only that, my old historical videos used to be like 5 minutes long at the most. Now people expect my videos to be like 15 minutes long. And sure, you might say, okay, I'm fine with five minutes, but YouTube would see, oh, people are watching this for a third as long, so they must not like it, and they wouldn't recommend it. So not only is the bar much higher, but I have a lot more on my plate, too. And I just want them to be higher quality in general. Like, the video I'm working on right now, I'm actually delving into personal correspondence between generals on a program to try and glean details that you wouldn't get from, like, a history book, you know? Once I can get a stockpile from my transplant done, I do plan to release historical videos more consistently. Do you plan on visiting the museum in Georgia that has the HSTVL? I would certainly like to. That is something that will have to wait until after the transplant. But if I could get into contact with the management there, I would definitely love to iron something out. Do you think that a battery turbine slash diesel hybrid tank is good? Or would the track noise just destroy the advantages of the quiet electric drive? I think the main advantage would probably be the performance benefits, not the uh, silent nature of it. Like instant power delivery, better range, stuff like that. Would you collab with people like Squire or the Chieftain for an IRL interview or comedy? Yeah, for sure. I would love to make a video with the Chieftain at some point, but I feel like he's uh, a caliber above me, if that makes sense. Would you ever consider doing an IRL video of historical museums? Yeah, like I said, I would love to do stuff like that, but it has to wait until after the transplant. This is an obscure one, but what is your favorite military logistics vehicle? This might seem like a cop-out answer, but it's the M113. The M113 is one of my favorite vehicles, bar none, and technically it is a logistics vehicle. I mean, it's hard to hate it, man. It's just a box, you know? It's just a little guy, a little goober. It works. It works well. Sure, it can't take a hit, but, you know, that's life. What do you think of the M3 Lee? I think the M3 is incredibly underrated. I think I have a video on it, but it is incredibly misunderstood. People look at it and think it's just an awful, poorly designed tank, but it worked pretty well. And sure, it might look like it was designed poorly, but that was the only way they could get a 75 into a tank. How did the plushes sell? Do you plan on doing any more merch? Yeah, the plushes did really well, actually. I think we sold, like, 300% above the goal or something like that. I would like to make more plushes, and I do obviously have a merch store. I tried to make designs that didn't look like YouTuber merch. You know, just stuff you'd actually wear out in public, instead of being relegated to your pajama hoodie. I'm sure I'll make more designs in the future, it's just not a very big priority right now. Out of all the Midwestern states, which one would you choose to live in? And which one would you delete from existence? 
Well, I kind of feel like Michigan would be nice, but as an Ohio resident, I feel compelled to also answer Michigan for the second part of that question. <laughs> but now, like, Minnesota, Michigan, Ohio, they're all pretty okay. Would it be possible to get a video of you and Odd playing naval together? No. Do you think Cash should be removed or nerfed? I think it should be nerfed. If you want my honest opinion, I could play War Thunder without seeing a single plane and be perfectly happy, but I feel like that's an unproductive stance to take. Gaijin is never going to remove cast, and I feel like most players want it in the game in some form, so it's better just to advocate for it to be nerfed in some way. If they just increase the spawn point cost of planes, I would be perfectly happy with that. If you want to increase the spawn point cost of SPAA as well, I don't care. What other games do you want to play on your channel? Well, if I could have it my way, I would upload pretty much anything I play, but obviously with YouTube, that's not gonna work. I feel like I could probably get away with playing Arma. I do already upload that to my second channel, so if Arma gameplay is something you guys would enjoy, let me know, for sure. What's your PC setup look like? Well, you can see my PC specs in my channel description. Uh, my desk is very, very dirty right now. Well, not really dirty, it's just got a lot of stuff on it. A lot of books. I tried to go with, like, a stealth, very minimal RGB build with my PC. How do you feel about having thousands of people knowing you? Did it change your life by a lot? Uh, it's certainly very weird and something that I've not entirely come to terms with. I'm not an incredibly extroverted person. When I record or upload videos, I try not to think about the fact that hundreds of thousands of people are gonna watch it within a few days. What kind of profession did you want to go into before being a YouTuber? Well, I always kind of thought that being a YouTuber would be cool. But when I got out of high school, what I wanted to do was join the Air Force. My plan was to become a space systems operator, which essentially boils down to watching the GPS network and making sure that a satellite doesn't fall out of the sky or anything like that. My plan was to do that, get a degree, hopefully work for NASA at some point. Obviously that did not happen given my kidneys, but I feel like I'm probably happier in this profession than I would have been in that one. Why are you always sick? Dog, I got organ failure. If I shot you in the kidney, do you think you'd be feeling 100% every day? What tank would you add to War Thunder and what BR would you place it at? I feel like most people already know the answer to this. It is the RDF LT light tank, and I would put it at 11.3 or 11.7. Assuming that, you know, Gaijin actually fixes XM885, so never. What are your top three map picks for War Thunder? I feel like most people are gonna hate me for this, but advance to the Rhine. Poland, in Eastern Europe. Have you ever tried playing Air RB? Yeah, that's how I started out playing War Thunder. I mostly played planes, not tanks. And uh, I stopped playing Air RB because it got incredibly, incredibly boring to me. I did not like alt-tabbing and climbing for seven minutes at the start of every match. If you could own any gun ever made, even paper designs, what would it be? Stoner 63, easy. I know that a company was supposed to be making reproductions for it. I think that project might be dead though, unfortunately. Have you ever thought about joining the army to be a tank commander? Uh, I did think about it briefly, but again, kidneys. I don't think I'd be a very good one. War Thunder doesn't exactly translate to real life. <laughs> Who does the art for your videos? It looks great. Uh, I assume that you mean my profile picture? And that would be Zucchini Fuzz on Twitter. He also made my decal in-game. And he made the thumbnail for this video. If you mean the other thumbnails, that's just me. What car do you have? That could be answered with this video. Toyota Corolla. Favorite Circa Survive album? The Amulet. I know that's not a very popular choice, but it's just what I vibe with, you know? Are you in slash have you been in college? If so, what did you study? No and nothing. So yeah, I hope those answers were uh, somewhat insightful for you guys. Hopefully the Q&A for 400,000 doesn't take quite so long to make, but you know me. Don't forget to check out Surfshark. If you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.